What's up, Metalheads? My name is Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. If you're new, please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. You definitely want to be su subscribed because the day this video is dropping, I have a live stream that night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Do my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And there's a couple pretty cool prize packs. And uh, you must be in the live stream to uh, win the prizes. So, uh... The video's already been scheduled, so if you go to my YouTube channel and you click on videos, you'll see it there. It says upcoming or something like that, and you can set set yourself to be notified. So uh, if you're interested in the prize packs, go do that so you don't miss out and you have a chance to win. If you're interested in what the prize packs are and you missed that video, I have a video like a week, within the last two weeks, that's titled something like uh, channel updates, knife sale updates, and giveaway updates, or 1K giveaway updates, or something like that. In that video, I show the prize packs. So, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good prize packs. Both of them are worth over $200. So, uh, uh, somebody, or right around $200, I think. I have to do the math, but they're pretty, pretty big prize packs. Not just a single knife. One prize pack has two knives. There's a flash, a brand new brass Raylite pineapple flashlight, which is gorgeous. I'm jealous of whoever's going to win that one. Raylite don donated that, by the way. Okay, that's enough of that. Today I have an unboxing for you. And this knife comes to me from the Apex Pass Around Group by way of Nocturne Knives. Thank you very much to him. If he happens to be watching for getting this sent out to me so quickly, I do appreciate it. And this is a knife I've wanted to check out for a very long time. Full disclosure, though, this knife has been around the block. There's like 10 people or 15 people in line to get this knife, and I uh, was invited to join the group pretty pretty recently, so uh, I was last near last on the list. And uh, so this knife has been in a lot of hands. It should be well broken in. All right. As you can see, it is made by Wii. Which Wii is it, though? That's what you are probably asking yourself. It's the Wii that I've been wanting to buy the most, thinking about buying the most, but I've just... Uh, I don't know. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, it comes in a wee pouch, stickers, microfiber, all that good stuff. We uh, we gives you quite a bit of swag and stuff. Nice packaging, and so we'll get that out of the way, and then we will look at this knife. Bam! The Wii Roxy Three. I have wanted to get this knife in hand for a very long time. Uh, love the way it looks, and uh, was just curious if I would like it or not. And first impressions, basically, is what you're going to get here. Front flipper, hold deployment for the, for the thumb deployment, or the reverse flick. How's the front flipper? Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not even going to try that. Aggressive jumping. Uh, yeah, first impressions here. Take a close-up look at... It's smaller than I thought. I thought it would be bigger, but with that forward finger choil, it's actually pretty comfy. Um, I will be doing an overview of this knife in a week or so before I ship it out to the last person that's on the list. There's one person after me. I can't remember who that is, but whoever you are, if you're watching, uh, I will ship this out to you in about a week. Uh, today is October 26th, the day before my giveaway, which is October 27th. So about a week from then, I'll ship it out to whoever's left on the list there. Very cool knife. Very cool looking knife. Todd knife and tool design. I'm pretty sure this is a Todd knife and tool design. Yeah, Todd knife and tool design. Man, it's smaller than I thought. And that's a good thing, in my opinion. For my hand size, as a medium sized hand, that's good. I had the uh, exploit here from Craig recently, uh, which is Best Tech, but uh, it's a Todd knife and tool. And it's pretty big. This is quite a bit smaller. And, uh, I like it so far. I like it a lot, but I will do an overview. Here's a good comparison. We're just going to, this is just first impression. I just want to show you the size of this knife in case you're curious. It's pretty much the same size as 8020.5. It's just a tiny bit shorter than 80-20.5. Um, or how about a... Uh, it's going to be quite a bit smaller than the Yojimbo 2. Good knife for One Cliff Wednesday. Today's One Cliff Wednesday. I have to take a picture and post this on Instagram since I got it here. But yeah, pretty cool knife. Um, next to the F5.5. I will do more size comparisons in my review, but I'm just 
I love this knife. I'm trying to buy this knife. I think I am buying this knife from Craig. Love this F5.5. And this is right up my alley as far as ergos go uh, with that Ford finger choil. Feels really good. We does a really good job on their fit and finish. This knife would be purple if it were my knife. There's no doubt about it. I would anodize this purple, leave that bronze looking hardware and dye the clip of bronze and uh, dye the backspacer bronze and the scales would be purple. With that pretty uh, heavy stone wash in that blade, it looks so good, so good. All right. Uh, first impressions, I want to buy one. Um, yeah, first impressions, I want one. But we'll see how that goes in a week. Will I still want to buy one of these knives in a week? Time will tell. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. This is just a, a real quick one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you guys have this knife, uh, I know this is a very popular model. A lot of people have it. Comment below. Let me know what you think about it and anything I should look for. Uh, when doing handling it next week and before I do my overview videos or anything anyone would like to point out to me about this knife that I may not figure out on my own or I probably I may figure it out but just uh one thing I can tell you right off the bat is this lock bar it's a little stiff and kind of sharp on the thumb right there in that edge but it's not terrible so it's one thing I noticed right off the bat here first impressions but I think one of those things you just got to figure out how to press your thumb and you'll you'll get it once you uh figure out how to hit it properly i think it'll be fine so all right guys thank you so much i really do appreciate it i hope to see all of you in the live stream tonight so uh you'll be watching this today of the live stream for the giveaway so i hope to see you all there i want it to be I want somebody one of you guys that's always watching the videos and commenting and everything i want you guys to win so but it's going to be a random thing. I'm not telling you how I'm going to do it yet, but you will have to enter during the live stream. Uh, there's not going to be, you know, a giveaway video that you go comment and I random pick. I am going to random pick comments, but we're going to do it during the live stream a little differently than we've done it before to filter out all the spam and all that stuff. So, uh, and the scammers and stuff. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.